Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, let me get on now. Let me get on now. Since I've shared a few videos of uh, my boat in the past, uh, I've gotten a bunch of questions about it. Just did different things, asking about this and that. Kind of figured I would just try to address some of that today and kind of tell you what I did to it and what I'm planning on doing with it still, and uh, kind of show what we got going on. So let's do it. So this J14, I literally, I grew up fishing on it. It was the, the first boat that I think I ever drove. Um, but it was, uh, I literally, as long as I can remember, it's been in my family. Uh, it was in a lot worse shape than this uh, about a year ago. Um, so I grew up in the Keys. My whole family pretty much moved to North Florida. This boat came with my parents. And uh, it pretty much sat rotting behind my dad's house for, I don't know, almost a decade probably. And I finally asked him one day, I said, what are you going to do with that old boat? And um, I, anyway, I got it from him. So I will try to include a picture of what it looked like before I started working on it. But let me run through everything that I did on it. As soon as I got it uh, from my dad, I cleaned it really good. We pressure washed it and scrubbed it down good. Um, I repainted it with some Rust-Oleum Marine paint. I just got it from Lowe's. It's pretty good stuff. I don't really have any complaints about it. It's, uh, it's pretty slick and... Um, it's been holding up pretty good. Uh, my boat does not stay in the elements. It stays under uh, shelter when I'm not using it. But uh, anyway, I repainted it and uh, redid the bottom paint on it as well. Um, it's filthy right now because the last couple of times I've taken it out on the river, I did not clean it. Um, you can see one good scratch on the side there. This is actually a vinyl wrap that I put on there after I got done painting it. And uh, so this is actually just a, um, where I was loading it onto the trailer one day coming off the river got a little swirly anyway um so that's a vinyl wrap and when you do a vinyl wrap on a boat at least the way i understand how to do it um you got to use this like i can't remember what they call it it's like an edge sealer you can kind of see there's a line there and a line there and it overlaps where the vinyl actually sits on the boat and that keeps the vinyl from uh, peeling up because of the water so uh, vinyl wrapped it i uh, cut out my own decals and stuff for it i uh, came up with that little logo because i I don't know, I didn't really care for the old Carolina Skiff logo. But anyway, just something different. Um, on the motor, it's just an old E-Tech. My dad repowered it before he uh, moved to North Florida and then let it sit. Um, we've had to address the uh, high pressure fuel pump a couple times and change the impeller. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty good motor though. I had to uh, clean it and buff it all and it, uh, it was shiny. It's still sort of shiny, but um, that's got the same vinyl on it that the bottom of the boat does. And then that's just kind of a goofy thing I made there because it's just a, a little boat anyway uh, moving to the inside though inside got the same vinyl or excuse me the same paint that the outside did uh, once I got it done I wasn't gonna put this EVA flooring in it I had no intentions of doing that when uh, when I got the boat but after a while of having the repainted surface because it's kind of smooth um, it's slick. So my little boy slipped off there, landed there on his butt one day while we were cleaning the boat. So I figured I better do something about that. And this stuff has really good texture to it. Um, we don't have any issues with slipping or anything like that now. So it, uh, it's, it's all good to go. I had some leftover, so that's why I added it to the top of the cooler and the, um, at the back, back there. And, um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I've had some people say, you know, it's going to peel up over time or whatever. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, it's only been on this, you know, one summer. And it doesn't sit in the elements very long but um so far so good there's a few gaps on it where the seams are starting to kind of withdraw a little bit i'm guessing it's because it's shrinking a little bit just from the heat um i'm in florida and it is hot as crap up here or down here depending on where you're from uh anyway so like i said uh painted it redid the flooring in it um i've got the cooler put in this is just a cheap igloo cooler from walmart i don't even remember what i paid for it but it's strapped down with some straps from amazon um, there's actually still a little bit of water in here from the last time we took it out. And uh, up under the console, that's where I keep my battery and my life jackets and my fire extinguisher and all that crap. We, uh, we actually got stopped by FWC last time we were on the river because my little boy put his life jacket on. And, um, he was nice though. Nice guy. Can't be mad at him. Um, the back of the boat right here, this is the area that I did not put any of the decking down because... From having this boat for so long i know that this is where all the nasty crap likes to settle um that and on top of having the gas tank back here i didn't want it leaking on that stuff and making it all nasty so 
Um, this is a brand new gas tank too, because the other one had all kinds of stress fractures or whatever in it. Uh, it was just kind of wore out. It was, it was overdue. I was thinking I was getting some water in my fuel, but um, the Bimini top, I got it from Amazon. It was pretty cheap. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I'll include a link to that as well. Um, I have not had any issues with it. Um, it's kind of funny, the old Bimini top that was on here, um, <laughs> the first trip that I took it out on with my little boy, after I got it all running good and didn't have to worry about a whole lot, we, uh, we went up river, came back down, and it started raining like hell on us. So we hurried up to get to the boat ramp and um, loaded it up and everything. And as soon as I get to the hard road, I realized I didn't strap the Bimini top back down and it uh, was folded forward. Well, when I started going, it, it flipped up, the straps caught it. And I guess it had enough force because I was going like 30 mile an hour that one of the little side pieces there broke. It was actually that one. And it pow, popped my tire. So I was sitting on the side of the road because the Bimini top popped my tire. So anyway, um, yeah, new Bimini top. Haven't had an issue with this one yet. It's been good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it being propped up like that, but it's fine. It doesn't get in the way. Uh, it might be different if I was fishing all the time, but we mostly go cruising here lately. Um, two little kids, it's hard to keep them at bay while you're fishing, so. Um, the GPS up there, it's as old as I can remember. I don't even know if it works anymore. I know it'll work because I powered it on one day, but I think it's the batteries are dead now. I'm not real sure. I plan on replacing that eventually. I'm not sure um, with what or whatever, but um, the next things I've got to do is I want to put a radio on it because we just like to go cruise and go to the sandbar and stuff and go hang out on the river. Um, so I want to put a radio and put some speakers somewhere in here. Depends on the other side's got controls, so I got to be mindful of that. And then I've actually already got navigation lights for it. Um, thought about trying to put some on the bow, but I don't want to have to run wires because there's nowhere, there's not, there's a, there's not a chase or anything for the wires. So. I think I'm probably gonna mount them right in here somewhere. We'll see, uh, I don't know the legalities of it, but I don't really take it out at night much anyway. So I don't really see it being a huge issue. And then I figure I can mount an anchor light somewhere back here. Probably, I've seen some clamp on kinds that they clamp on here where you can kind of, I'm thinking I can probably fold it down and then flip it up if I need it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, So that's pretty much all that I've got for right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna run my dogs over. If you do have, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to let me know. I'm sure I forgot how to keep things. Crazy ass dogs. But, uh, I'm sure I forgot some things. There's no doubt about it. But. Um, if you have any questions let me know if you enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button it helps me out i'm trying to grow this thing if i can um but otherwise i guess we'll see you on the next one